Has anyone seen a Tyrannosaurus Rex around here? They said there's some around here, but I just, I can't see one for the life of me. <coughs> Sorry. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, Dobrovecce. It's Melbourne Revealed, and today I'm taking you back to Jurassic World. <laughs> there folks you find me this is the uh, river here and behind me there stretching all the way from sort of there to across to there that is the Melbourne Convention Centre and that's where I am taking you today because we have an exhibition running at the moment here in Melbourne called Jurassic World which is a Lego exhibition uh, full of dinosaurs yeah so pretty exciting gonna take you in to see just what what they can create with little bits of plastic, uh, presumably what they can create is, you know, dinosaurs, eh? Over there we have the Pollywood side, and behind it, right, the Melbourne Convention Centre, it starts from basically where Crown is, and it goes all the way over there to this section here, okay? Then you've got the Pan Pacific Hotel. The Melbourne Convention Centre is affectionately known as Jeff Shed, uh, named after the premiere of the time when it was built in the 1990s. Uh, as you can see, we've also got plenty of places to eat around here, but you may also notice that here in Melbourne, it's really quiet today. Now that's because we're just sort of coming out of yet another lockdown, what we called affectionately, or less affectionately, uh, lockdown 4.0, or maybe lockdown 4.0, oh, fuck not again. Um, uh, so, you know, we had about 100 cases over about a month, I don't know. Anyway, we locked, we locked down the city and we locked down the whole state. Anyway, that's what we do here in Australia. Um, so, but anyway, obviously today uh, things have reopened a bit. Uh, I think this exhibition is running till the 11th of July. Today is the 22nd of June, so we don't have a lot of time. We've got beautiful weather for it though, which is a pity that we're not really outside much, except for this bit. <laughs> and um, anyway, let's head inside. Uh, obviously, we're looking for a T-Rex. Um, I will be very disappointed if I can't find a T-Rex today. That is the aim of the day. Thank you very much. Let's, let's do it. The area we're in is called South Wharf, if I didn't mention it before. Um, and it's a lovely little area. Uh, that sort of was recreated back in the 90s. Uh, you know, all this stuff is newish uh, because it, uh, it was pretty, pretty much left to rot, I think, for quite a while. This kind of feels like the back entrance, really. Uh, we're being shown the tradesman entrance to get to the Jurassic World exhibition, but from the main entrance, they're doing vaccinations. Uh, so you go all the way around, probably about 500 metres uh, from, what is it, King Street? No, it's not, it's Spencer Street uh, over here. It's sort of where all the hotels are, yeah? Well, we've got the Pan Pacific right here. And just behind there, that's the, just peeking over the top there, that's the Novotel. Yeah, so let's head inside, which is this way, and uh, see if we can't find ourselves a T-Rex. Folks, we're about to ascend the escalator to Jurassic World. Do you think Brickman, do you think there's a Mr. Brickman? I don't know. I don't know. But he looks pretty scary. Anyway, folks, let's ascend the escalator and go back in time yeah. to the Jurassic period and the Jurassic world. We'll watch out for Sam Neill as well. He could be potentially very dangerous. What I say is ascend the escalator. I meant walk up some bloody steps, didn't I? Yeah, of course I did. <sighs>
of Jurassic World. We are proud to present a whole array of species, including, of course, real life dinosaurs. An adventure 65 million years in the making. Here we are, this is Jurassic World, the uh, Brickman Lego exhibit. Basically it seems to be, and I didn't realise this before I came in, and I should have. It's a recreation of the world from the movies, hey? Ah. Oh look, you can actually uh, build your own little Jurassic Island, eh? The lab, welcome to the lab. This is where they create the dinosaurs, they clone them. Over here we have a strand, the double helix DNA. Using this technology they recreated dinosaurs, probably in Lego form. Wow. Fossil extracts. Amazing. Simply amazing. Something tells me at the end of this you get a chance to buy some Lego stuff and they can make more money from you. Wow, hey? Wow. First of all, I have to say it's very impressive that Legos could be recreated from DNA millions of years old. That is something else, eh? Hey? Wouldn't you say so? Mr. Stigmalock. <laughs> wow. Holy crap, we are under a dinosaur. Probably a brontosaurus, I'd say. There's Mr. I was going to say Stegosaurus, but it seems I don't know my dinosaurs. This is a Cynoceratops. It's a Cynoceratops. This is a Stegosaurus, but it's built from the big, the big Lego bits, so it's not quite as um, detailed as some of the other critters around here. Now this really isn't all about the dinosaurs. It's about what Lego can flog to your kids, right? So what we've got over here is for the very young kids. You can make a dinosaur from these big pieces of Lego, right? Look, Triceratops. Build your track now. Okay, so I'm an adult. And yes, I'm a little bit cynical. But it's actually pretty cool if you're a kid. You would love this. Velociraptors. Possibly the most remembered um, creatures from the Jurassic world. Um, we've got one live here. Hello, Mr. Velociraptor. Oh, how are you today? Aha. Uh -huh. Have you been a naughty Velociraptor? Is that why they've imprisoned your head? Hmm. See, see here, one's possibly escaped. But we've got a couple over here. Hello. Hello, Mr. VC. Mr. VR, I should say. Hello, Mr. VR. Now it's just... Ah, ah. Sorry. Folks, the Velociraptor. In the movies, perhaps the most memorable of all the dinosaurs. Scarier than almost all of them, except for perhaps, you know who, the T-Rex. Well, here they are in real life. Ah! So, say hello, Mr. His name's Todd. How you going, Todd? Yeah, I'm pretty good, actually. Thanks for interviewing me, Andrew. Well, that was pretty nice. That was the interview with Todd the Velociraptor there. Ah, uh, yes. Of course, back in Jurassic days, they weren't nearly really as vicious as they appeared in the films. Because, in fact, they were common household pets and they even slept at the foot of the bed like uh, your modern day dog. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A 
escape Il Nubla. You probably do. You want to get out of here as quick as possible because there he is, folks. There he is. Mr. T Rex himself. A fearsome sight, an awesome sight. The real reason I'm here, right, is because. Well, I'm actually secretly a dentist, uh, only to the dinosaurs. And so let's go into the mouth and see what we can do. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, see there's a cavity here and a cavity here. Yes, mm, we're gonna have to do a bit of drilling, Mr. T-Rex. Mm. Yes, it's a worry, it's a worry. Let's check the, uh, the molars and, uh, well there's no molars. Mm. Ah! Look at that. I think the, uh, the Tyrannosaurus Rex has already eaten the back of the car. Oh no! I'm being chased by Jeff Goldblum! This is comedy gold and if you're not appreciating it, that's your problem. Anyone seen the T-Rex? So I came here to see a T-Rex and I can't find one for the life of me. It's really annoying. Now, here we go. Flog, 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 flog. Flogging a lot of stuff to the public. You can have posters. You can have all these things. We saw actually Lego. Oh, look. Hmm. Over here, some masks. And of course, Lego. I've got a feeling that's pretty much it, actually. There's your T-Rex. And how much do they want for that? They want 385 Australian dollars. That is, uh, that's not cheap. That's not cheap at all. Is that right? 300, 195 Australian dollars. Okay. Tell us, sir, over here, we have someone who survived the terrors of the T-Rex. What's the biggest seller? What's the biggest seller? What are people buying? People are buying most of the Jurassic sets, obviously, coming out of this. They the really, the really, the one down there, the 400 buy, buck one? That goes quite a wow. lot. Wow. But also the little ones for the smaller kids, yeah. And any of these things that are nice and cheap go quickly Ooh. as well. <laughs> nice and cheap. My two favourite words. Ooh. Mmm. I don't think you can grow a T-Rex from something as small as that, though, can you? Yeah. Right. Well, you okay. could. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. See you later. <laughs> Folks, that's it. That's the whole thing. We've seen it. We've seen everything. Nice, quick for you. So let's uh, let's have a think about things because um, the cost thirty-five dollars Australian. What's that? Twenty-eight-ish US, maybe. So it's not, uh, there are escalators by the way, I totally missed the escalators, I had to walk up. Anyway, you know, exercise, somebody, somebody told me I need to do it. I vehemently disagreed with them, but they insisted. Um, yeah, $35. And it literally took 15 minutes maximum, and that was me with me making jokes, uh, which slowed me down a bit. Um, that's the way it goes, eh? I think the kids are going to enjoy it. They can spend time constructing because there's lots of little kits and you can construct stuff in there. So I think if you're a kid, you know, you would enjoy it, as I said. However, that's $35 for an adult. I'm not sure what the kid's price is. But it's not cheap. Yeah, it's really, it's a fair bit of money. Um, but it'll be ending in a few days. Um, Okay, I gotta say, I'm genuinely surprised by how quickly that was over. Yeah? I did not think that I could do that in 10 to 15 minutes, which is pretty much what I did. I pretty much, I mean, you're not gonna see everything I shot, but I basically filmed the entire time I was in there. Um, yeah. So, $35, but it was pretty, it was cool. Like what you saw in there was cool and, um, They've done an amazing job. It looks fantastic. But at the same time, you expect more for your money. Folks, thanks once again for hanging out with me for a few minutes on YouTube and checking out something, something that's going on here in Melbourne for Melbourne Revealed episode. Who knows what we're up to now? And um, 
anyway, still got a few more to go this year. Uh, hope you're doing well wherever you are. Take care uh, and may the journey never end, naturally. Thank you.